Yo guys, Spiderbite here. This is a revised tutorial for the Mahjong tiles found on Black Ops 2 Zombies Die Rise. You need these tiles to assist you in the correct order for meleeing the tower as the last step for both Richthofen and Dr. Maxis's side of the Easter egg and for the high maintenance achievement or trophy, depending on what you're going for. So we're going to start off with explaining exactly what these tiles are and how to to translate the tile into uh, both a direction and a number. So we're going to start looking at the numbered tiles. Okay, so let's start with the numbered Mahjong tiles. The first is one bamboo, and it looks like it's a, it's a bird of some sort. Now, remember, the tiles that you are going to see in-game will be all of the same color. Um, the tile itself, like the, t the tiles between themselves will be different colors, but the tile itself will be one solid color, not red and green as we see here. Uh, two bamboo is basically two sets of three ovals. Uh, again, they're going to be the same color in Undie Rise. Three bamboo is three sets of three ovals, and four bamboo is four sets of three ovals. Now, what the numbered tiles will tell you are the order in which you have to melee the tower posts with the galva knuckles for both sides of the Easter egg. It's the directional tiles that will tell you which post is which. So let's take a look at the directional Mahjong tiles. The uh, directional Mahjong tiles are otherwise referred to as wind tiles, but for our purposes on Die Rise, they're going to indicate direction. This first one is called the East Wind, and then we have the South Wind, then the West, and then the North. So we start off with our number tiles, and then we're going to find in Die Rise, we're going to find corresponding directional tiles and the tiles that go together are the ones that are the same color so there are four colors red green blue and black let's say you find for example a red one bamboo and a red west tile then you know you have to hit the west post of the tower first with your galva knuckles with your melee if you found a blue two bamboo tile and a blue south tile then you know you have to hit the south post on the tower uh, in second position. Only each post in the tower can be hit once and they have to be hit in, hit in the proper order using the Mahjong tiles in the game that you're in. They change from game to game. The sequence of posts that you must melee with the Galva Knuckles will change uh, from one game to the next. Alright, a couple of things before we get into the locations of where these Mahjong tiles are going to be located on Die Rise. Number one, we've only ever been, been able to find seven tiles, but seven is all you need. Even six can be enough if you find the correct ones. Uh, seven are enough because you know, obviously, you're going to have, there are a total of eight tiles, you're going to know what the eighth tile is, and you're going to know exactly what posts you have to hit on the tower. Also, we're going to go through a total, I have a total of nine known locations of the Mahjong tiles that we're aware of. So sometimes you won't see a tile in a certain location that we're going to show you. Now, what we're going to show you is from various games so we can show you all the positions that the tiles will be in. Just keep in mind it's not all from the same game. We're not showing you nine tiles. We're just showing you nine positions. And the tiles, again, could be crossed over from separate games. And they won't necessarily match, all right? All right, the first tile location is going to be on the tower. It's going to be on this corner of the railing. Now, this tile will always, always be there every single game. Not necessarily the same tile, but there will always be a tile, and it will always be a directional tile. It may be a different direction. It also may be a different color. What this tile tells you is the direction that that post is facing. In our case here, that means that uh, that post is facing north. And once we find the corresponding red numbered tile, we'll know what order to melee that post in. Our second tile location is in the spawn starting area on this desk. It happens to be a red two bamboo, which means that we have to hit the north uh, post second in the sequence. Our third tile location is in the overturned building. Uh, prior to going down the elevator shaft, it's in the uh, the upper area, and it's just on this couch, on this cushion, and this happens to be another directional wind tile. 
Can't tell if that's uh, black or blue from uh, this angle, but it is definitely the south wind. Fourth tile location is in the elevator shaft of the overturned building. We're going to go down to, I believe this is approximately the third level down, and you can find a tile on the ground here. That is the green east wind. Fifth tile location is in the radio tower building. We're on the uh, first floor down from the rooftop level. Uh, there's a kitchen area here. We've got a boiler on the right-hand side. And on the countertop, we see in this game a three bamboo blue tile. All right, number six tile location is just inside this uh, hallway and in the storage room from the AK-74U. And it's right on the shelf here. This is the uh, sixth tile that we found in the game we completed that we uh, that we did for the Richthofen Easter egg, and this one is a, f a green four bamboo. All right, so here's a summary of the tiles we found. We're going to assume that that one t directional tile, the south tile that we found, was black and not blue. Uh, we have for the red tiles we have two north, green tiles four east, the blue we have a three, and the black we have a south. We only need six to figure out. Uh, which posts on the tower we have to hit and in which order. Uh, from these tiles in this specific game, which wasn't actually the game where we completed the Easter egg. I thought it was for a second, but it, it's not. But in this particular game, this means we have to hit the south uh, post first, then the north, then the west, then the east. So what we'll do in a moment, if we remember this order, we'll go up to the tower and I'll show you exactly how you figure out the directions based on what we have here. Um, firstly, I'm going to show you a few more locations that you could possibly find the tiles in. We've got uh, three more to show you. Uh, there might be a couple more, not sure. These are the only three across probably about half a dozen games that we ever found the tiles on. So let's take a look at those and keep in mind that we're not going to add these to our collection. They're just going to be random tiles from different games. All right, seventh location is going to be in what we call the Buddha Room. It's at the bottom of the overturned uh, building. Well, technically the top, but the bottom. And it's up by the teddy bear location in the room uh, up on that second level on the back half of the, uh, the room. Eighth location is in the Power Room. Just as we enter through the double doors, we're going to turn to our right. And on top of this table in the rightmost corner of the sewing machine table, is our eighth location of the Mahjong tiles. All right, this is our final known location uh, down from the tower where you drop down to this part and you can't get back unless you drop down another level and open a bunch of doors. We're going to find our final tile location on this lawn chair. And uh, again, that's it. Uh, there might be one or two more possibly. But uh, like I said, I went through about a half a dozen games, and those are the locations that I had, nine locations. Uh, but like I said, you only really need six tiles. And even then, uh, what happens is that if you mess up, you, the, the blue glow or, or orange glow on the posts will disappear, but then they'll come back the next round, so you can try again the next round. I mean, worst case, you have to try a couple times because you may be missing um, more than two tiles, uh, and you just it just takes you two rounds to do. All right, so let's take a look at the tower. From our tiles in this particular game, we've got the first post being north, then we move east here, then south, and then to the west post of the tower. So what we're going to have to do, we're just coming back around to the north post of the tower. We need to start at the south post. Now keep in mind, we've completed uh, the Easter egg here, and this is a new game, so the tower's already lit up. These posts, the, the posts of the tower will actually be lit blue instead of the middle section, or orange, depending on which uh, Easter egg you're progressing with. So this is the south post. Again, once a new round starts, if you've messed it up, it'll be glowing again. So you hit the south, you run around to the north post, you melee that post, then we're going to go to the west, which is to our right here. We're going to hit that as the third post, and then the opposite corner post, which is the east post, and that matched up with our green four and east wind Mahjong tiles, and we're going to hit that one. And once you do that, you'll have completed either Richthofen or 
Dr. Maxis's Easter egg. And that's it. That is our guide for the Mahjong tiles and how they help you complete both sides of the Easter egg as, as the last step um, for Richtofen and Maxis. I hope it helps, guys. I'm Spider, and I'm out.